General Kenobi, years ago you served my father. Can't you just turn your notification off for one minute? What's a grinder? No, I have no idea what a dumb top is. R2-D2, where are you? Are you serious? I'm trying to save the Republic here and you're leaving for a hookup. Last, where have you been? Wait a minute, where are you going? He's always looking for love in all the wrong places. Deadly delicious desserts, this time from my dining room. And isn't it pretty? We have a very special guest today, R2T2. Say hello, R2. He's <laughs> so feisty. <laughs> I wanted to do something different. So please enjoy this episode. I really enjoyed putting this one together. So let's get to it. As you can see, I'm mapping out with my templates on my MDF. Watch your fingers when you cut this. And then there you see with the legs and the base attached together. And right now I am putting a sound module on and that is underneath the base. I'm using a little bit of sticky tape here. But don't fret because everything's going to be all self-explanatory on my if you, on my blog if you pop over to it. It's all written up in all her glory. Here, I'm just trimming off all the excess and getting it all smooth. And here now I'm just basically getting my buttercream frosting and adding buttercream frosting in between each layer. If only if we were that quick in real life. <laughs> oh, so if you've noticed, I didn't need to trim the edges on the side on this one because the cakes were already perfectly in line. So that was one thing I didn't have to do. And then just continue to put your buttercream around the edges and smooth it off. And now I'm going to do the top of the head. And of course goes without saying in between each uh, frosting, you can always pop it into the fridge for a while and let it harden and then you just keep doing it until you're satisfied. Now here I have got some pre-made fondant because if you bake as much as me, it's just quicker to buy pre-made. And you just warm it up with your hands and then measure it. And then pop it over to the cake. Now for the head. Smooth as a baby's bum. <laughs> you just trim the excess off. Now for here, you don't have to be too neat. 
And it doesn't matter if he gets some lumps and bumps. It's all good. It could be a dented R2-D2. Honestly, the main thing is, is just enjoy yourself. Now, as you see here, I'm cutting out all the squares. Of course, there'll be lots of reference pictures attached to my recipe on my blog. It's just best to always plan and prep everything. So that's probably my advice. When you come to attach all the buttons, just basically cut them all out. It is a little bit fiddly, but the end result makes it look amazing. If I do say so myself. <laughs> oh, and here I'm just using a little bit of water and then just lightly stick them on. Very difficult with this bit. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> now here, this is the base that is obviously made with MDF and styrofoam. I covered them up with fondant. As you can see, it's not perfect. But now I'm attaching some more detail. But what you could do, if there's a few bits that you're not happy with, you can always make allowances and cover them up. Because only you will know. <laughs> And here, just gently pop your body onto the base. Do it a bit more delicately than me and not on the edge. <laughs> and now I'm frosting the top and I'm going to place the head on top. Voila! smoothing off the edges if you do have anything that's if the fondant rips just get a little bit of fondant mix in a little bit of water and it'll end into it'll be like a paste and then you basically just use the paste kind of to repair the tear it, it does work trust me the main thing is don't panic don't threat and uh, right now all I'm doing is I'm just adding some details on top And there you go, my little baker bees, one little R2-D2 cake. Now, I know this episode was slightly different, and that's only because this cake took me one week. Barely any time for you, <laughs> I know. But this cake will be doable, and it will be written up in all her glory, or his glory, for this in this instance, uh, on my website as soon as I have five minutes. And of course, you'll be able to find me on all the websites, all the social media sites, all of them and i think that's it really oh and please don't forget to like subscribe and comment it really will help me out with this channel and we can all bake the world a better place all right my little baked bees as always be safe be well be good until next time bye bye